The class list has a number of search features that allow you to filter your search by a number of criteria. Click on the Communicate tab on the navbar. Click Class List. So you can easily view the class list by user, groups, or sections. By user is the default. So I click this by, uh, view by drop-down list and if I've created groups, if you haven't created groups you won't see this. I can click groups and then click apply. Then you're going to get another drop-down of all the different groups. So if I want to filter to see which students are in a specific group, I can click on a specific group's name, click apply, and it will show me just those students that are in the group. If I want to look at group 3, I can click apply, and again, just those students that are in the group. Let me do this one, click apply, and you'll see the students change. Then I can also go ahead and print that if I need to. Now to get back to uh, the users, click on the view by, click users, and click apply. And now it'll show me all of the students in the class instead of just the groups. You can search for a student's name by entering their first or last name in the search for text box. So if I wanted to search for a specific student, and if I click on the little icon, search icon or hit the enter key, it'll filter for that and then I want to clear the search to let me get back to that. I can also filter uh, the, the uh, reveal more filter options by clicking on the show search options. So you can filter by uh, the search, you can filter um, and search by the following. You can search by a specific role if I want to see which are students, which are faculty. I can search by any students that have been flagged or unflagged. And again, I'm the one that flags them, just in case I want to be able to deal with them. I can look at students that are online or offline. And anything that you choose here, you have to go back and click on the little search icon to choose that. And then again, I would just go ahead and clear the search down here. And then I can finally, in the show, show search options, I can click on the last access so I can see when a student has last accessed or when, I don't know, when the last time they had an, a last access on an end date. So the other thing you can do in the class list is, is sort by any of the columns. So I can sort by last name if I want and it will remember the next time, and you'll see the little arrow next to it. I can sort by first name, um, and if I click on that again, it'll, it'll sort uh, descending, so I can sort ascending or descending, whatever I want. I can sort by org unit defined ID. Um, I can sort by role, and again, ascending or descending, and then I can also sort by last accessed. So and then ascending or descending. So that's a quick way to determine who has an access to course or who has. And again, my courses will remember your sort from the next time you come into your class list.